tonight on a night where you guys are a little bit shorthanded at the point guard position and you picked up some of that yourself. What do you think just generally of, of the ball movement and the way the offense flowed tonight? Um, I mean, obviously, we got guys out of the lineup, so we, we have to play with pace. Um, and, you know, I think Cheese did a great job of, you know, getting that started early in the game, uh, come in and just play with the right pace, right tempo. Um, and, you know, we, we have unselfish guys, and, you know, especially right now with our lineup where it is and got guys out, and it's a unique kind of time, you know, with a lot of guys who haven't really totally played together. Um, you know, we, we just have to play with the right pace, uh, be decisive, and um, that's what we all try to do. Greg Logan with Newsday. Well, Landry, I know it's not your call, but do you have any understanding or clarity yet on whether or not uh, Kyrie might rejoin the team tomorrow because obviously you guys are so thin at, at point guard right now. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, that's he's dealing with what he's dealing with. Um, and, you know, our job as professionals is to go forth uh, planning for the worst case scenario. So um, you got to be prepared for whatever scenario. Um, I'm going forward preparing as if he's not going to be in the lineup, uh, but things can change. So. Um, but yeah, that's kind of uh, where we're at. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey Landry, Steve was talking about, you know, the, the challenges of playing in Minneapolis with everything going on here, there right now. And, and you know, the social justice stuff, just how, how far is the season to kind of endure through with the pandemic going on, all this other stuff. And, you know, you guys don't really get a break from basketball with, with the condensed schedule. Yeah, I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a weird year. Um, so much has happened in, 365 days and it's kind of crazy uh, to, to think and reflect on that you know just looking back at the number of kind of things that we'll all you know when we're on our deathbed look back and think wow that was your 2020 2021 like it's just a lot's happened in this this short time so um it's great having a sanctuary of basketball i know it's been a condensed schedule and we've played a lot of games in a, in a short amount of time but you know you i think you take that with for what it's worth and you know it's it's what we love it's you know it's at the root of it it's what we all used to do to get away from everything going on so um, you know it's been a good good outlet for sure Malika Andrews with ESPN uh Landry forgive the abrupt transition back to basketball but I I just I'm just curious in your own mind I know you're mentally always you know being prepared but how does your role change when you are so depleted at guard you guys have taken hits all over the place this year but going into tomorrow potentially with guys from James Harden and and Kyrie all the way to Chris Chioza out how does that change things for you um just taking more ownership you know I don't I, I enjoy that um I want to you know take ownership for mistakes for you know us having a good tempo offensively for knowing what we're getting into um you know, and I just want to be the best, the best version of myself for my teammates. So um, just going forth with uh, preparing to be the point guard and think like a point guard, um, you know, and then look to score off of off of those options. So think point guard first and um, do my job for my teammates. And then from there, you know, the rest is gravy.